Hey everybody on YouTube, what's going on? This is Floodmon14 here. And today we have sort of a special... We're just doing the box opening today, so... Yep. And we've got a... Basically a... I'm gonna call it a Kaiba Deluxe Box. Um, yeah, it says Kaiba's, as you can see there, Kaiba's Collector Box. And so we're playing the little hacking theme from Yu-Gi-Oh! Which is pretty cool. Uh, also, uh, it is currently Shadow Game Week here on Floodmod 14's channel. So, yeah, um, just a really quick, uh, update to you guys. Uh, this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! is currently um, on my channel so if you want to check that out check it out before it goes down it'll be up until like Saturday I think maybe Sunday but probably Saturday night at midnight so check that out all right now for the video I'll probably have to adjust where you guys look so let me just do that and by the way, my friend Diego's actually here. But he's just... He said he's too scared to be on YouTube today. So I'm gonna take over and do the opening. So, there we go. Yeah, we were supposed to play the final duel of the structure deck match, but... Diego said he was too scared to be on YouTube today. I don't know why. I think maybe he doesn't want his girlfriend to see these videos. Because she's threatening to break up with him. Drama, but that's drama. You guys don't care about that. Ooh, but you guys, you don't care, care about drama. You care about the cards. There we go. All right, Diego, do me a favor. Pull your chair right there, and let me know if you can't see the cards in the video. That'll actually help me out. All right, so. Oh I'm my gonna, gosh, you're that ugly. Yes, I am. Thank you. So I will read the back of the box. Let's read. Master the most legendary dragons. This is the perfect gift for you geeks and dweebs of Yu-Gi-Oh. No, it doesn't really say that. But for you fans of Yu-Gi-Oh that want to start playing, but let me just pretend I'm interested for a second. Oh, gee, Flood, why would they want to do that? <laughs> uh, they want to start playing like their favorite character from the TV show, like me, Seto Kaiba. Screw the rules, I have money. It comes with a complete, easy to learn, and ready to play 50 card deck. Now let me explain how to play Duel Monsters. You start by shuffling your deck in a needlessly dramatic fashion. Yes, and of course this features a lot of Kaiba's famous cards. Like the, the packs that have in it, like the starter deck you're guaranteed two blue eyes I think. So that's good. And then in the Duelist pack Kaiba you can obviously pull you have a chance at pulling blue eyes or an ultimate, blue eyes ultimate. And in the Yugi Legendary, I mean the Yugi Duel spec, you can pull like Dark Paladin. There's another really good card in that set. Can't think of it right now, but I think one of his new magician cards was in this duelist pack. So don't quote me on that. Could be wrong. It could have been in the starter deck. I think that's what I'm thinking of. It was in the starter deck Yugi Reloaded. Anyway. Each Kaiba's collector's box comes with one starter deck Kaiba reloaded. Three booster packs of dual spec Kaiba. Three booster packs of dual spec Yugi. One ultra rare variant art Blue Eyes White Dragon. And an oversized card of the same variant art Blue Eyes White Dragon. Interesting. Now, we're going to start this opening. So, can you see everything, Diego? I hope so. Yeah, you can see good. Alright, cool. So, let's uh, cue the music back up. There we go. Just uh, playing that on my Xbox, by the way. Alright, so Diego already actually started opening. <laughs> but I paused it. So, we'll finish opening. So, we'll pretend like uh, it's Christmas. There we go. <laughs> kind of like this music playing in the background. It shouldn't be too hard to open. So, uh, at least I don't think so. Yeah, it just comes in this little box. I'm kind of excited about this, honestly. Like, I might not show it on my face, but believe me, I'm pretty excited. I'm just like, over the years of, you know, doing all the different openings and stuff I've done, I found a way to hold it in, you know, which I should. You know, sometimes 
playing this on YouTube now. I should just let all the excitement out. I'm gonna get blue eyes. <laughs> all right. And see, look at that, Diego. Can you see that? Yeah. So we get a giant blue eyes white dragon. I don't think this is holographic. It's not. See, look. Look, you can feel it. There you go. So we get that giant blue eyes. And that's definitely going on the wall. You know, back in the Yu-Gi-Oh room. Uh, now see, this is where I'll need your help, Diego. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. Alright, so you get a promo out of the box. And of course, I'll read the text for you guys. The legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Virtually invincible. Very few of faces awesome creature live to tell the tale. Blue eyes, white dragon. White lightning attack. I believe that's its name, right? But if you watch the Japanese version, it's more like, uh, Blue eyes, homie no so stream. <laughs> anyway, let's get out the three packs. I'm sure you guys are like, Why haven't you opened cards yet? We want cards. Cards Cards are life. Well, if you're new to the channel, um, yeah, we're pretty chill here, man. Like, we don't get in a hurry. Like, right now, the timer's at, I'm gonna guess Diego, like, 5 minutes and 14 seconds? No. What time is it at? 6 minutes and 40 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. So, but, yeah, as you know, on this channel, we are pretty chill, man. Like, we don't get in a hurry. It's more of a discussion thing, you know what I mean? Like, if you're looking for someone who opens this up quick and professionally, you might want to go to somebody else's channel. This channel is not for you. But this channel is more for me to vlog about all my past Yu-Gi-Oh! experience, do a few voice impressions, and we'll just open some cards. Alright, so, David, which pack should I open first? Or should I open the deck first? Mm. Hey. Dun, dun, dun. You have five seconds to choose. Five... Four, three, two, one. Left. This one? Left? That's my left. Okay, so we'll start with one duelist pack of you. Alright, and wish this up, guys. Hopefully you pull, like... I don't really remember what the ultra rare is in the set, which would make it all the better if I pulled it. Alright, so can you see that, Diego? Yeah. Can you read the bottom of the card, what it says? No. Oh. Crank control! Well, then I'll come closer. To you. You see? Yeah, some people might need to read the card fix. Alright, there we go. Alright, now can you read it? Sir? Me, kinda. Okay, so that's good enough. You can see the text though, right? Yeah, but this really little. Alright, so brain control. And we have Jack's Knight. And we have King's Knight. Oh, what's next? Queen's Knight? We have Green Gadget. That's pretty good. And for the rare, I have no idea what it is. I'm Because these are to the back of me. Monster Reborn. That's a pretty good rare, Oh actually. my gosh, that's how I wake up in the morning. <laughs> no, but this is a pretty good rare. Just got off the ban list. I could talk about that. But we'll save that for another video. So Monster Reborn. That's a good start to the opening. What else can we get? That's pretty cool. We got Monster Reborn. I actually like Monster Reborn more when it was a I think it was a Ultra Rare and a Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon, but this will do. I've actually needed this card, White Dragon Ritual, so we got one of that. What else we got? We had oops, Lord of Dragons. We had Ring of Defense. We also have Hitatsumi Giant. And for the Kyber pack, the first pack we've got, Cost Down. Pretty good card. Alright, so two basic rares to start. Let's see what's in the next one. And from here I'm just going basically, Yugi Kaiba, Yugi Kaiba. Like that's the way to do the opening, right? Nice, simple, fast. So let's open this. Get rid of that. Alright, we have Stronghold, the Moving Fortress. We have Sword of Revealing Light. Still good, Diego? Good, good, good. We have Light Force Sword. You can throw a sword into a guy card and seal it for four turns, because that's a thing. <laughs> Red Gadget. 
And for the rear we have... Yeah, it was ice just lit up, so... Oh, very nice. We have Dark Magician. So, we got Yugi's Dark Magician and Kaiba's Blue Eyes. That's a pretty good day. I know it's just a basic rare, but that's still pretty good. I think you can get this in a super rare. It has alternate artwork. Anyway, we'll read it, though. The Ultimate Wizard in terms of attack and defense. And yeah, still a lot of Dark Magician decks being used to this day. Always going to be support for Dark Magician. So that's actually a good rare to always pull, in my opinion. Even if it is just a regular rare, the price is still going to be pretty good. You can actually really kind of up the ante. And usually I do. Whenever I trade someone a Dark Magician or a Blue Eyes, I always up the ante because there's always going to be support for it. So even though the price on TCG Player or whatever may say, eh, 50 cents, usually I'll up it to about a dollar. I mean, because there's always going to be cards that help. Anyway, next card is Sword Stalker. And we have Ancient Lamp. Actually, very, very good card. Even standalone. Can it help you special summon Lejean? Oh, and look who it is. <laughs> Speak of the Devil, Lejean, the mystical genie of the land. A.K.A. one of the monsters with the longest names in Yu-Gi-Oh! Lord of Dragons, and for the rare for the Kaiba pet, we have nice Paladin of White Dragon. So that'll let you special summon the blue eyes real quick from your deck. So so far, not a bad opening, but not a really like a spectacular one either. Like there's not really a ultra rare yet, which can happen. But honestly, the cards we've gotten pretty good, even though they're basic rares, like Monster Reborn, now that it's off the list, that's good. I was actually mean one, because I had traded all my Monster Reborns away, so, <laughs> kind of needed that, I needed the Paladin, and I needed the Ritual, so I'm cool with this. Karibo, goody, goody, Life Force Sword, I can't believe I just did a Karibo voice. <laughs> Swords are Revealing Light, there we go, and for the rare, there we go. Check that out, Diego. We've got Summon Skull, which is a super rare. Pretty cool. I actually really, really like this artwork, so there you go. Maybe you guys can see the shiny on that. Anyway, I'll read what it says. This card's always treated as Archfiend, level 6, 2500. A fiend with dark type powers for confusing the enemy. Among the fiend type monsters, this monster boasts considerable force, that's true. But I really loved its attack in uh, the anime. It was like lightning strike or something. But then the Japanese sub, it was like Makurai. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. And for the last rare, we do have one other card. It is... Because you should get the super at the third card. So this is a rare, right, Diego? Yeah, I got that right. So if you do get a super rare, you get a super rare and a regular rare. So that's good. Marshmallow, which is Marshmallow. Yeah, this card can be destroyed by battle, so it's always good. And it inflicts a thousand upon being attacked. So, pretty good pack out of... It's funny, like, even though we got the Kaiba Collector box, and that's usually how I find these boxes to work, guys. I don't know if it's this way for you. Maybe this is just superstition and it's all random and it doesn't matter. But for some reason, if I get, like, for example, uh, these were on sale at Walmart, by the way, on rollback. So, get them while the getting's good. Uh, they were priced at $25 here, but the rollback price was $13. That's half off, so yeah. Uh, but what was that San Diego? Something about the boxes? The rares? Yeah, like if this would have been the Yugi's, you know, uh, Starter Dex Mac, Max Box, like the Yugi Duelist Collection Pack, like the Kaiba Packs would have had the super rares, like the better rares. And, you know, Yugi's packs would have had, like, nothing. And But this pack, like, we have opened up Kaiba's box, you know, like, this probably isn't going to be an ultra rare or a super rare. But Yugi, we get a super rare out of that. Isn't that crazy? I think they did that on purpose. I don't know. Maybe I'm just insane. Or, but that's been my experience. So what time are we at, Diego? 14 minutes? Yes, but to go 14.50. Well, I need a drink. So I'm going to carefully grab this drink 
And if you guys want to know why, it's because it was sitting on top of my Xbox. Mm. Mm. <sighs> okay, guys. Last pack. Wish me luck. Hopefully the hacking theme will bring us some good luck, huh? Oh man, that episode where Kaiba like hacked the Duelist King in the mainframe, man, that was so like, I don't know, man, it was, it reminded me of a lot of things, but what it reminded me of most is like, basically the Matrix, that was like, <laughs> it was like Matrix Inception into Yu-Gi-Oh, it was crazy, man, that was a great episode. Anyway, Enraged Battle Ops, not bad card, really, Swordstalker, Swordstalker, free my brother, shut up. Interdimensional Matter Transporter, and do we have a Super Ultra? Oh, we do, dude! Yes! <laughs> it's funny, I was just complaining about the rares, but there we go. Thanks to the hacking theme and a little good luck, we've got a Super Rare XYZ Dragon Cannon. Go, my monster! Hyper Destruction! Sweet. So the way you play this is you have to have X, Y, and Z usually all on the field, right? Yeah, and you banish the above cards you control on the field. So you don't need polymerization, so that's cool. And with this hyper devastation effect, you can discard a card and then target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. So that is awesome. And actually, I think the hacking theme just finished, so... Yeah, I think with that, that is going to be close to the end of the opening. And what is this? Oh, that is a different theme altogether, so we're not going to play that. And for our regular rare, we have Blood Divorce, aka Vorce Raider. So I will read this monster's effect, it's pretty sick. This wicked beast warrior does everything horrid, does every horrid thing imaginable, and loves it. His axe bears the marks of his countless victims. Wow. Now, I believe in the Japanese text, like, actually, his name was actually Blood Divorce, and it said something like, the axe of this monster drips with the blood of his victims, or something like that. It was like, it was really, like, different. But anyway, we got a super rare, so there we go. Now, just to review, for the packs we got, not bad rares, but we got Monster Reborn, We've got Paladin, I'm pretty sure I remember. There we go. Got XYZ, which we just pulled. And we've got Summon Skull for a highlight, which is really awesome. So I'm glad, I'm really glad, guys, that we pulled two, two supers. And even better, like, guys, I bought this, like, you know, Duelist Kaiba Deluxe Collector Box. And this is probably my first super. You know, my first, like, high rarity out of that box. So, um, like I said, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a little paranoid or something. But, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Like, I finally broke the curse that I've had for myself. And I did it live on video on YouTube. So, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So, for the last part of the opening... We're basically, that's it for the Duelist Packs. So for the last part of the opening, like really quick, I'm just going to um, open this. But really, the cards in this are guaranteed. You know, the uh, starter deck reloaded Kaiba. So it's not so much as, you know, you guys need to see it, but I'll just read off the list really quick. So you get two Blue Eyes, Aquamador, Legion, Battleox, Opticlops. Some of these are just vanilla monsters. Dragon Dwelling Cave, Luster Dragon, X Head, Cannon, Mad Dog, Blood Horse, Ag Alexandrite Dragon, Wattail Dragon, Twin Headed Behemoth, Yomi Ship, Death Sparrow, Two Kaiser Seahorse, One Chaos Necromancer, Blade Knight, you get two Horus cards, four and six. You have Cybernetic Cyclopean, actually not a bad card, Puppet Plant, Death Mosquito, Tiger Dragon, Vanguard of Dragon, because I'm probably not going to do all these. And then, uh,. Oops, were you still recording, Diego? Yes. Oh, sorry, a little technical difficulty there. We must have had an earthquake or something. No, we don't really get those in Arkansas. Hmm. Arkansas, where's that at? I have no idea. I'm gonna go live in Texas. <laughs> uh, taxes? Yes. Where's taxes? I don't know. 
I Isn't that read. no taxes come from the White House? I can't read. I can't read. Uh, anyway, and we have Divine Dragon, a pop club graph, and Interper Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Dragon, really long name, gives Legion a run for its money. For spell cards in this deck, you have Dark Hole, Soul Exchange, all good stuff, really. Tribute to the Doom, Rush, Cyclone, Mystic Space Typhoon, Offerings to the Doom, Stamping, Enemy Controller, Burst Stream, Shrink, Shield Crush, Silent Doom, Dragonic Tactics, Shard of Greed, Trap Hole, Sekiroketsu Automer, Shadow Spell, one of Kaiba's classics, Widespread Ruin, Threatening Roar. I believe Threatening Roar was actually Command Silencer in the enemy. Don't quote me on that, though. Birthright and Damage Gate. So there's the deck list if you actually guys want to see it. I think you could see all of that. Huh, Diego? You can see basically the whole list. Yeah. Yeah, there's the deck list if you want that. But anyway, yeah, basically the cards in the deck box are guaranteed. But, like, the main one I'm going to show you is the Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes. Because that's really, that's, like, what you're sort of buying this starter deck for. Not so much the, you know, common cards and stuff, but really just the, yeah, just the ultimate rare blue eyes. Um, now this will take me a minute to open, so really quick, I just want to tell you guys, hey, if you like the video, you know, leave a like. Uh, it comes with a, you know, beginner's guide, but this is kind of <laughs> outdated at this point, especially with link format. Um, but yeah, it does come with this nice mat. Uh, but that's kind of basic. It doesn't have, like, a blue eyes on the mat or anything, so there's that. Um, we'll give you some power-up tips about how to play the deck. <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you, you know, use Kaiser Seahorse to play blue eyes and stuff. Also tells you about the 2016 Mega Tins and some other stuff on the back, if you want to check that out. So, but yeah, that's really the main thing you're getting the set for. Is, it's right there on the cover, look. You're getting it for that, the ultimate, ultimate rare blue eyes. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys while I'm still, you know, opening this. Yeah, leave a like below if you like the video. Uh, what was that other button, Diego? The notification button? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Hit that if you want to see more. Uh, I hope you like the videos with music. Because I certainly do and did. Uh, I think the hacking music helped us a bit. Um, yeah. Definitely broke the streak. Anyway, there's that ultimate rare blue eyes. If you wanted to see that. And. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just gotta smell the pack. Just gotta. Ah. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Don't know why I just did that. Anyway, it still has the same text. This legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Indensible, very few have face to tell tale. So, basically, also with this Kaiba, you know, deluxe collector box. Like, that's your main hope, is you pull Blue Eyes Ultimate. Because you cut, you get two Blue Eyes here automatically, see there? You get two Blue Eyes in this deck, and you get a promo Blue Eyes. So really all you need is like Poly and an Ultimate. And then you're pretty good. And then you just hope for good, you know, Supers and Ultras out of the other packs. So, anyway, I'm just going to rifle through the cards really quick. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And, um, yeah, basically, I'll see you guys next time because we're just going to flash through the rest of the deck. I've already kind of read it off. And we're just going to leave you guys with some cool jewel music. So, And that will do it for today's opening of the Kaiba Deluxe Box. I want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time. Two Kaiser Seahorses, of course. Got to make sure you have that. <laughs> Alright guys, peace out. I love this theme, man. You can just rock your head to it. <laughs> I'm over here bobbing my head showing the last few cards. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that. I probably should just stay still, but eh. Gotta have fun too, man. This would be a good song to do to you, huh, Diego? <laughs> he's nodding his head while he's texting his girlfriend on Facebook. Woo! You know who I'm talking about. The one girl. The girl who lives. Why are you playing, man? We're, we're on video. Now, nah, people have already clicked out by now because I already said the outro. I was like, subscribe and all. We'll see you next time. Dark Hole! Just me! It is? No. Diego <laughs> over there playing like a Mac Daddy.
acting like he's not texting his girlfriend. Now, but I, I do appreciate your help, man. Like on the camera angles and stuff. Uh, yeah, big shout out to Diego as well. Um, Die Diego, he does have a channel, so maybe you guys can find him in one of the comments in my videos. If you look, yeah, yeah, I think he's in a couple. So subscribe to him or leave him like a thanks or something. Be like, hey, thanks, Diego. You know, blah blah blah. You're helping out Flood. Blah blah blah. Card games. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. Attack mode. Blah blah blah. Or you know, just just leave a comment saying, hey, I hope you beat Flood <laughs> in the uh, structure deck duel. Yeah, you can leave a comment on his YouTube channel. Or. Who doesn't do? The audience, fool. Who? Is the video still going? Yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> like, what if, what if we kept doing all this and I didn't get that on video? Anyway, we're to the traps now. Trap hole. Where? I'm surprised the bottomless trap hole wasn't in this deck. Kind of surprising, really. But. Surprised I'm not in Surprised they don't have a picture of me in the newspaper yet. Uh, why would they? For being famous? Threatening Roar? No, for, for threatening wi Northside. For winning the tournament? For what? Threatening Northside. I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> and Damage Gate is the last <laughs> one. <laughs> uh... Yeah, he's a joke. <laughs> yeah, I Sounds like jokes. He's a joke. Yep. Yeah. You heard it. Anyway, guys, that will do it for the opening. And I think to end, if we're still going on time, I'll just hold up the four blue eyes we got. There we go. Hey, uh, Diego. Can mm. you uh, see that? Yeah. Again? Okay, cool. So to end the opening, we'll go back to the hacking theme and we'll play, we'll hold up the four blue eyes. So there we go, guys. Man, this thing is big. This card is really big. You can use it for a fan, man. Look at that. Hey, this is just that. Baseball. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. <laughs> Hopefully, you didn't mind the jokes toward the end. You know, because we were basically done with the video. What the yeah, like four or five minutes ago? Yeah. After I read off the deck list, we were basically done. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah. And like I said, we're just a really chill channel. You know, if you like a chill YouTuber, or you know, you don't like the same, the same old plain Jane vanilla YouTubers. Yeah, so subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!